What's up guys, it's TechnoViking23, coming to you today with a quick look at some of the new exotics that Xur showed off today on Bungie's Instagram. First we're taking a look at the Alchemist Raiment. This is going to be a new exotic warlock chest piece with the exotic perks where you pick up primary ammo and it will give you a chance to get glimmer when you pick up primary ammo drops. And when your super is full, orbs will recharge your grenades and melee energy when you pick up those orbs from other people's supers. Kind of an interesting looking exotic, nothing real special here. I hope shaders will actually affect this because that's one of the main problems with the current Warlock uh, exotics is that uh, you use different shaders. They stay the same color. This doesn't look too much different than a lot of the Warlock exotics we already have, but uh, I guess this is what we're going to be getting uh, for your Warlocks. You'll be getting a new, another new chest piece exotic. So let me know what you guys think about that. Now coming up next, we're going to be taking a look at a new exotic shotgun that's called the Chaperone. Uh, this exotic shotgun is going to give you an agility boost when it's equipped, so probably like the lightweight perk on the Mita Multi-Tool. And also when you get precision kills with this, it will give you an increase to your handling, range, rate of fire, and your weapon stability. So it's going to be an interesting weapon. This is also going to be a slug shotgun. Uh, so it'll fire a single slug, it'll be more of a precision shotgun. So it'll be interesting to see how this thing works. Next up we have the Empyrean Bellicose, which uh, is another new exotic Titan helmet, which quite honestly looks kind of crappy to me. It's kind of like a mix between Saint-14 and something else, I don't know. Uh, this will allow you to uh, aim down sights and float in the air, just like the Angel of Light perk that Warlocks have with Sunsinger. And when you pick up orbs and your super is full, it will recharge your melee energy. Again, I'm not a huge fan of this design, and it probably won't be affected by any shaders like the current Titan helmets, so... Yeah, not a great one here. Not real impressed with this. Uh, next up is the Sealed Ahamkara Grasps, which are exotic hunter gauntlets. Uh, these will give you an additional melee charge, and also um, there's a chance for your melee damage to reload your primary weapon. That's kind of an interesting perk. Not real great perks there, and again, this is just kind of like, uh, you know, there's already several exotics that look like this. So nothing real creative here from Bungie's art department. And again, not really the greatest perks in the world. And then we're going to close out here. We're going to have a look at two exotic weapons that they showed off today as well. Uh, the first one you guys have probably already seen. This is the Sleeper Simu Simulant, which will be a heavy fusion rifle. It's going to go in your heavy slot, but it's a fusion rifle. And it has, shoots this giant laser, basically, that will penetrate through targets and ricochet off surfaces. Uh, you actually will get this from the gunsmith. He gives you a quest to go out and collect the parts for it. You don't actually get this from Zur, so interesting that they had Zur show this off. I'm not really sure what to think of this yet. Everyone's saying this will replace Yalahorn, but I really don't think so. <laughs> uh, next up is going to be the Telesto, which is a new fusion rifle. And this actually looks pretty cool. This is probably the, the best looking one they've shown so far. This will be an exotic fusion rifle with void damage. The projectiles you fire will attach and uh, detonate with a delay. So it's kind of like the Needler and Halo or the way the uh, Scorch rifle works right now from the Fallen. It'll actually attach to targets and then blow up. Uh, Multi-kills will drop orbs for teammates with this weapon. So this is going to be a real nice weapon to use for strikes and other team-oriented activities where you want to be dropping a lot of orbs. So overall, some interesting choices for these new exotics. Uh, personally, the only one I'm impressed by is that new fusion rifle, the Telesto. Uh, the other ones really, to be honest, don't really look all that great. And quite honestly, the perks on them are pretty lackluster and appear to be pretty crappy. Uh, the Chaperone Shotgun really does not appear to be anything too special other than it's going to have kind of a unique reload animation like a Model 1887 shotgun. If you guys have played Call of Duty or seen the shotgun that he uses in Terminator 2, you'll know what that's all about. Uh, but overall, these, like the exotics that came with House of Wolves and uh, Dark Below with a few exceptions, these appear to be pretty lackluster. Um, uh, the new Titan helmet especially. I mean, I'm so sick of getting these bland, kind of silly looking Titan helmets that they try to make these look like really old from like they're from before the golden age. And I, I just don't really care for these Titan helmets that much. Um, you know, Saint 14 looks pretty cool. This looks just like a, a reskin Saint 14, just taking a little Spartan thing off the top of it, but uh, really not a huge fan of what they've been doing with the Titan exotics. And again, the perks on some of these are just overall not that great. So it'll be interesting to see how these work when they come out. I hope this is not all the exotics that we're getting with Taken King, um, because those who purchased Taken King are probably going to be pretty disappointed with just getting these if this is all the new exotics they're going to be uh, showing off. I hope that's not the case, and I'm sure maybe there's more to see. 
Uh, anyways, guys, let me know down below what you guys think of these uh, new exotics they showed off today. I'll put the link down below to the Instagram post where you can see these. Would love to hear your comments on them. Like I said, I'm not really too excited about any of these. I don't really see much that uh, to show me these are going to be all that great. But just wanted to show this show this to you guys so you can see it. So anyways, guys, hope you're having a great day. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you again next time.